aim of that course was kind of two things. First of all, give people an overview of some of the issues, uh, challenges, biases, questions around creative computing presenting a history of the internet, graphical user interfaces, but also thinking about what it means to be a creative practitioner in today's world with these kind of burgeoning technologies of machine learning, mass data collection, Bitcoin, BitTorrent, all these other issues, but also giving people practical experience on the other hand with this programming language P5JS that was really designed from the ground up for people from kind of non-traditional, non-technical backgrounds to be able to express themselves creatively with code. I guess to sum it up, it would be to try and make a course that would give people the kind of theoretical and practical background and underpinning to give them a clear path to what they want to achieve. I don't think it's really possible to teach someone how to program in five days, but it's definitely possible to give people the kind of map towards where they need to get to in five days. to apply to this course because I'm really interested on in how technology is affecting our built environment and the world around us and I wanted to learn about why and how and how I could relate it to my own creative practice. It's a creative field that I've never had access to and considering it's a free course and it's being taught by someone who's working within the professional field I thought it was a great opportunity because the more things you learn the more ways you find yourself to express in your own field of art. I find code to be a very exciting medium and this workshop gives me access to a broader understanding of how I can take advantage of it and what, what can I expect by people I work with. As a workshop leader on this course over the last five days, the thing that I've learned that's most interesting is it's confirmed my belief that getting people from a variety of different backgrounds to understand and be able to manipulate this whole world of computational thinking and programming is essential. It's so important that we have varied voices and diverse voices dealing with these technologies and these challenges and that actually a lot of the problems that have occurred around issues of bias and things like that around technology would have been solved or at least not appeared or at least placated by having a much more diverse group of people being able to deal with and challenge these issues. And this is one of the reasons why I'm so excited by the new diploma in the Creative Computing Institute is because it's going to do exactly that, be able to take people from a variety of courses at UAL and give them a year's worth of experience to be able to then return to their area of interest and challenge all the assumptions that have been made in that area. I think it really expands your thinking and it allows you to like engage in interesting conversations with different peers across UAL and with different tutors. It's pretty special because not many other like unis have access to that. They may have like different subject levels, but because this is like purely creative, it's so exciting. Working with people from different backgrounds is always important as a creative person. Collaborating is, I think, the only way we can be innovative. It's not keeping it to ourselves, but sharing ideas and expressing ourselves. The main kind of takeaway is just to not be scared of anything. Like, it's so overwhelming, but even like Joel, with all his experience, is still learning, and it's kind of like makes you feel a bit better about it that you're never going to know everything, and that's okay, but keep being curious. <laughs>